I hope it's very clear that Western media is extremely racist towards Africa. Welcome to Tunachiki's Africa in the News. I'm Mike Mushi, and this is the show where we look at how Western media covers Africa, where we go through all the prejudice, all the racism, and all the propaganda. And in the week that saw the start of the Ukraine-Russia war, we saw the real true colors that they've been trying to hide from everybody else uh, of Western media, how racist they are, how substandard they think uh, us Africans are. So uh, before we continue uh, with our topic today, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It's the best way to show YouTube uh, this is a good video and it will recommend it to people like you. So please make sure to like this video. It really helps us uh, a long way. Uh, thank you to our Patreons. Uh, thank you to our channel members. We really appreciate you and uh, we are here just because uh, of your support. So let's start from the top. Uh, Russia this week invaded uh, Ukraine and uh, this brought about uh, a lot of things uh, that uh, we are going to talk about. So first uh, we'll talk about how uh, Western media has covered uh, this uh, war based on how racist they are. So uh, before I start, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Have a look. This isn't a place, with all due respect, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European. Now the unthinkable has happened to them. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. On est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed, children being killed every day with Putin's missiles. Just to put it bluntly, these are not refugees from Syria, these are refugees from uh, neighboring Ukraine. I mean, that, quite frankly, these are Christians, so white, they're very similar to people, I mean, people who live in Poland. These are prosperous, middle-class people. These are not, obviously, refugees trying to get away from areas in the Middle East that are still in a big state of war. These are not people trying to get away from areas in North Africa. So after all that insult that you've had, after all that uh, like uh, abuse, uh, it's obvious and plain to see Western media is racist uh, from Al Jazeera, from BBC, from CNN. All those correspondents couldn't believe that whatever is happening is happening to white people. As if war, pain, heartache deserves to only happen in Africa or the Middle East, right? This is the type of racism that we've been talking about. Uh, this is the type of coverage that we've been talking about since this channel started in 2016, right? Finally, after all these years of us uh, beating the drums, uh, almost 2,000 episodes, you're actually seeing how racist these media news organizations, these Western media news organizations actually are, right? Uh, they try to be, ooh, uh, we're fair, they try to be, uh, we are uh, we, we don't uh, like we don't have any sides, but clearly they can't believe that Europeans are the ones who are suffering this time, like as if it's magic or as if it's the end of the world. So, again, uh, that's it. Uh, they're extremely racist in their coverage because their whole structure of how Western media is developed is to put down uh, other people, right? Western media was developed not to tell news but to uplift themselves, as in to be superior. Western media is equals to white supremacy, technically, uh, that is. And today you've seen it in, uh, like with your own eyes, you've had it with your own eyes. Western media is used just to make the white person feel superior about themselves. They can't believe they're actually dying in a war because they've been, they've been brainwashed that war is only belonging to Africa or uh, in, the, in the Middle East, right? So, and uh, here's the sad part. Uh, in the history of this planet, Europe it has been the most violent and most bloody place to be in, right? Uh, they have, they are having currently selective amnesia that they can't believe blue-eyed blue people, blonde people are actually suffering in war. But if you look at history, if you're, a, if you're a historian, this region of Europe has been home to the most bloodiest, to the most violent, to the most grotesque war crimes, to the most heinous uh, war crimes ever committed on this planet, right? Uh, then, uh, to make it even worse, they spread that war, that bloodshed to other continents. They came to Africa, colonized us, murdered us, enslaved us, right? They went to uh, the United States, cleansed that country of their native population. They went to Australia, almost cleansed that country, uh, continent to their native population. 
So this is what we're talking about. Currently, the Western media is shocked that uh, uh, Europeans, blue-eyed people are actually suffering in war. But that's the norm. Uh, just this small lull of a couple of decades, maybe 50, 60 years, that has seen peace in Europe. But Europe has had so many bloody wars. That's just minus the World War Ones, World War Twos, and uh, and and all the French, uh, British wars, all the German, French wars. They've had so much wars. They have so much bloodshed. And to make it worse, they've exported all that war, all that bloodshed to the rest of us, right? Africa has been, uh, throughout our history, has been relatively peaceful, right? But Europe, starting from the Roman Empire, going back to the, uh, like, uh, going uh, to the Dark Ages, uh, going to World War One, going to World War Two, it's it, it's all them. And today they're acting as if they're innocent, or they've never seen war, they don't know what war is. You, Europe is war, right? And uh, currently what's happening to them, it's a result of what has been uh, brewing uh, in their political scene. So, to add on top of this uh, travesty, other than the racist reporting the Western media has been doing, also, Ukrainians themselves are actually racially segregating Africans, not allowing them to escape, not treating them uh, the same as the war victims of the fellow country. Thinking, even in war, even when you are escaping for your life, you still think you're more superior than your fellow human being, right? This is, this is, this is what you talk about when you talk about racism in Europe. Like, it's so ingrained, it's part of their culture. But if you're in Europe, you've always been fed the mind that you're superior, you're better than, than us Africans. You, like, uh, you can't believe the things that are happening to you uh, like should uh, like only deserve to be happening to us right so this is uh, what we are talking about how they're treating Africans in Ukraine how uh, even if uh, they escape Ukraine they go to Poland they're still being uh, racially <laughs> like racially segregated they're still being uh, like uh, like uh, prevented to escape war right so this has been confirmed by the United Nations. The EU, obviously, it's a racist body, has denied that they are actually uh, uh, like being uh, like uh, treating Africans differently, which is obviously they're actually treating Africans differently, right? We have got videos, we've covered it extensively, and this is what we're talking about. If you're still in denial about your racism, how will you ever change, right? Uh, how do you think you're more special uh, than other that other regions deserve war, but you don't deserve war, right? That's why the world should care more about you than all the current wars and conflicts that are currently going on. So uh, let's talk about uh, the Ukraine and Russia war, uh, our take on it. So our take on the Russia-Ukraine war is that we don't have any take because I'm not Russian, I'm not Ukrainian, and uh, we always uh, call out those uh, Western journalists who come to Africa, who come to Kenya, who come to Ethiopia, and talk as if they are experts in the, in the, in the, in the, like, like in the current conflicts, right? I don't know uh, so much about uh, Ukrainian politics. I don't know so much about Russian politics. Let the Russians and the Ukrainians expert journalists, reporters, uh, tell you about it, right? But don't go to CNN, don't go to BBC, don't go to Al Jazeera expecting to hear any truth. From us, we'll not tell you anything about the Russia-Ukraine war because, as I said, and I keep repeating this, I'm not Russian, I'm not Ukrainian. Their business is their business. Uh, we hope they sort it out in a peaceful manner and uh, it ends. That's the best uh, I can do. This has been it. I know it's been a short video, but uh, uh, as you can see, we are on, uh, we are on site. Uh, we are currently uh, doing an event which we'll tell you about uh, soon. Uh, announcements will be made uh, uh, like in our socials. So as always, uh, we really appreciate you guys from joining. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell like this video it's quite important to like this video and uh, if you have any take on the ukraine russia war let us know in the descriptions below uh if if any one of you is was shocked that uh europe uh, or western media uh, news organizations are racist please i'd like to know uh, who you are like a, like an actual african right uh, not those trolls who pretend to be africans like an actual africans who are actually surprised of what's going on like wow uh cnn oh wow al jazeera is actually racist they actually think they're better than uh, africans they actually think war devastation famine only belongs in africa right if if you're surprised with those uh, notions please let us know in the comments below uh if uh, you're not surprised like this video, share this video with friends and family, spread the word, let other Europeans know uh, what racism is, right? right? Let other Europeans know the, the, the culture problem they have when it comes to uh, Africa, when it comes to other cultures, right? Uh, racism is a big problem in Europe, it's obvious, and it's obvious, right? So, 
With that said, uh, it's been Mekimushi and uh, we'll check you out in the next one.